This next one is the rice technique, and it is going to be very similar to the salt technique, except we are going to be using some pieces of rice to absorb that water. So once again, um, start by putting down whatever colors you want. It could just be a solid wash, um, but I'm going to lay down a quick gradient again, just because I like to see what these do when the colors mix together. Okay, so from here, right away, once again, we don't want to waste any time. You're going to take a few pieces of salt and you are just going to set it on here. Um, and you're not going to see the effects of this till right away. One thing you can do too, if you don't feel like you're, especially if you're using a thicker cold press watercolor paper like we are using here, you might actually decide to paint over top of these a little bit. Um, just be careful not to move them off the paper. But um, with this, you can then see how that paint is pooling around that rice and that's gonna create a little bit more of a texture. The only problem with this is that you can see that you can't really control where the colors are going because you are trying to not pick up that rice, which you will a little bit. So this is really good for just like a pattern texture background. Not necessarily if you wanted to paint something super precise and with precision. So once again, um, you'll wait for this one to dry till the next class period and you will see how that rice absorbs into the water. 